I have it on yet. Now it's on, Mom. This washes clothes just like clothes wash today with this agitator. And then when they get done, you take them out and you run them through this. But you have to turn this on and you run the clothes through these two runners here. And you will have two wash tubs over here behind full of water, rinse water, because you're going to rinse them twice. And so when you get through with that, then you will push down on this and this will swing over this way. So you can go over there and run the clothes through again. And then you get down there, then you can swing it clear over here and run them through again and put them in a basket so you can take them and hang them out on the clothesline. Okay. Any questions? What's this do right here? It swings this thing around. What do you mean, swings the top thing around? It, Swing the the, the, the the whole top thing. The whole this whole piece swings right here. Yeah, it swings. It'll go this way into the first rinse, and then it'll be sitting this way to go between the rinses. And over here, it'll be sitting this way to drop them out in the clothes bag. Because you're going to use it for all the different tubs. You're going to ring it through those for every you tub. Have to ring it through all the different tubs. That's why it moves. Then why don't they have the other tubs here next to it? You don't do that. I guess you can swing it any way you want to swing it, but they've got it stationary. But you, but for sure there's more tubs that go along with this, right? It do. Why, this is supposed to be hooked down here, and then you've got another, you need another pipe here to, to let the water outdoors. Okay. Okay. Good. Anything else? You understand it? Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, bye. Okay. What's that again? Okay, you're in the country. You don't have electricity. So you have a motor down here. It's a little motor. And you put gasoline in the little motor, and then you step on a thing and you get that thing going. And you can hear it about two miles down the road because it's pop, 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 pop. But you've got a long thing on it going out the door. So the gas fumes will go outdoors. And you go, it goes pop, 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 pop. And of course, if you're in the city, you just plug it in and it doesn't make all that. Uh, my mama used to wash, and you, before that you had a washboard, and with a tub, and you had to wash with a hand, and then you had to wring by hand, and those old farm clothes and everything. She got, her back would hurt her so bad, she'd be down about the rest of the week after she wore it. So during the height of the repression, my daddy sold a, 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 a calf or a cow, it was a young cow, uh, for $30 and bought her her first Maytag wash machine. She used it all of her life until uh, they finally left the farm. And then when they left the farm, why, they, but then they didn't move it to town because you had to have all the wash tubs and things and the little laundry room in town. She could have had a modern new wash machine and dryer by that time. But she didn't choose to put the money out for a washer and a dryer because they had a laundrette in town and they sort of liked to go down and visit with the people where they were doing their washing anyway. So they did not invest in a washer and dryer for the house in town. And that was about 1976. So she used that Maytag washer from the early 1930s till about 1976. And by the way, we're in the Hoover Presidential Library where we are seeing these apparatus on display and explained to us by Helen Webb.